In this clip, I'm going to take a single chord of F7, which is made up of F, A, and E flat. And I'm going to play that in a little vamp, which sounds like this. And I'm going to demonstrate some sounds which can be created around that chord. The first thing I want to say is that all the different um, sounds we had in the previous clip work perfectly well. Uh, we could think of the C minor 7 chord that we had, being a 2 chord, and the F7 being a 5 chord, which will eventually go to a 1 chord of B flat major 7. Perhaps it could. So we've got the F7 chord. And we could have some sounds from the previous clip. They sound uh, what we would term as diatonic. I'll play a few of them, just a handful, just to give you an idea that they work. consider here is something um, which on your ears will fall slightly differently um, and these are known as alterations so if we think of our chord of F7 if we extend it to a chord of F9 we put a G in if we make that G go down one we would have um, F7 with a flat 9 if we make the G go up one we'd have F7 with a sharp 9 and the other alterations we could have if we think of um, an F a fifth away from F to C to get a sharp 5, or if you go down one to get a flat 5. Playing around with those tones and the possible scales which give rise to those tones um, create some interesting uh, harmonic mechanisms which can be used for improvising over the F7 chord. Uh, the first one I'll uh, play with is um, a diminished sound. So we're going to start on A here and build a diminished scale. sure of the fingering for that, um, and one of the clips on my YouTube channel um, is that particular scale, along with several other scale forms. Uh, but let's hear what that sounds like uh, to start with. It can be moved up and down three frets on the guitar, um, either way, uh, continuously, and it produces the same notes but in different places on the fretboard. So let's hear that first. <laughs> a little rarer is if I take an E flat minus 7 uh, flat 5 uh, arpeggio and I use the notes in there I could contrast it also with an A uh, minus 7 flat 5 arpeggio which we had in the previous clip so you could hear how they work together so here's the E flat minus 7 flat 5 arpeggio <laughs> sound which you could use, uh, this is where we, we do really start to change a little bit, is we could use uh, the C harmonic minor chord as well as, sort of scale, as well as a G harmonic minor scale um, and the B flat major scale, um, which then we could also nudge up to the B major scale, um, which is a tritone away from the F. Which sounds a little convoluted, but I'm going to go through those possibilities now. We'll start with the C harmonic minor scale. <laughs> Tonality. The 
B-flat major scale. But one thing we could think of with the, um, the F chord here, or the F7 chord, is we could think also of a note of B as being a tritone away. And we could think of a mixolydian scale of B, and we could also think of a scale of B major, and we could give some thought to the altered tones in those scales and how they clash in relation to the F7 chord. They clash because they have some notes in common with the F7 scale or the B flat major scale, um, and at the same time they have some notes which are very dissonant, which generally revolve around the flat 9, the sharp 9, the flat 5 and the sharp 5, um, and they can be used for improvising. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use um, a combination of perhaps the B-flat major scale and just slip that into the B major scale so you can hear the, the difference there. It'll sound like I'm slipping in and out of tonality in two ways which are both within tonality. <laughs> of diatonic sounds as used in the previous clip um, together with the E flat minor 7 flat 5 chord. Uh, I'm going to use a tritone substitution uh, with B mixolydian and uh, B major. I'm going to use the C harmonic minor scale and the G harmonic minor scale. I'm going to patch those together um, to create uh, an improvised sound. <laughs> Thank you. 